Hi everyone! Today we are going to be talking about administering vitamin K to your dog. This vitamin K is called Phytomenadione, Conakion MM. This is um, something that's more specific compared to other vitamin K in the market. Because some vitamin K guys can only be applied um, IM or or um, parenterally, meaning you have to inject it. But this one can be given both IB, IM, sub-Q, and also oral. So my dog has been taking a lot of antibiotics for the past two weeks and and she really cannot handle more injections as of now. So what I'm giving her is this one because I can give this um, either through subcutaneous injection or oral. Right now, I'm going to be preparing it for oral, but I'm going to be also showing you how to prepare it for injection. So, it comes in ampules. So, one pack contains five ampules, and you need to keep this like in a cool room or, or like in a refrigerator just to be sure that it won't go bad. So, this is how the ampule looks like. It should be clear. So before giving it to your dog, of course, you you should check that you're giving the correct medication. You should check that you're giving the correct dosage and everything. And then you check the ampule itself. It should be um, clear inside. There should be no cloudiness and all that. Okay, I think we're good. And if you see some of the fluid on that part of the ampule, you just tap it like that. So all the fluid would go down and it's okay if there are some bubbles in there that would not affect the dosage much and so yeah we are gonna be opening the ampule right now so to open the ampule i usually just use another cloth because i'm afraid to you know like um break the glass and have splinters on my fingers so i hold it like this you need to hold the ampule over here at the white mark there and then on the body of the ampule and then you snap it like that like that okay I find it easier to have this there and then snap it it should snap right up now if you are giving this parenterally guys it would be better if you would use a needle um, a filtering needle just to make sure that there are no small glass that could you know like harm your dog but since I'm giving this orally, uh, there's really not a lot of need for that. And then um, for the needles or for the injection, you can use a lot of different sizes. So here are the different sizes. Yeah. Of course, don't use something like this. This is too big. So what I would recommend for you guys to use is either this one. This one is a 3cc syringe with a gauge 23 needle, so it won't be too big, it won't hurt your dog, it won't, you know, like, um, the, it, it won't be too painful if you are gonna inject it, but if you have a small dog, like a chihuahua, you know, so, and if you're gonna be giving, like, just one ampule, it would be okay to use a tuberculin syringe. A tuberculin syringe um, can accommodate up to 1 ml. And usually for chihuahuas, you only need like a 0.5 ml. So this would be a good syringe for that. And it has a gauge 25 needle. So it's smaller. It won't hurt as much. So, okay. If you are going to be giving this to your dog parenterally. And by the way, guys, don't give it to your dog without the doctor's permission, okay? Um, only if the doctor says so or, or if you're trained and all that. And if you are not a medical professional, not in the veterinary field, the safest parenteral route that you can give this or through injection is subcutaneous or right under the skin. So to do that, you get like the skin of your dog at the back of the neck like that. Supposing th this is the needle, you inject it like this. There should be no resistance inside because you are um, in between the skin and then you administer the injection like that it should not be painful except if your dog is you know like uh, has very low pain tolerance anyway that's how you give it parenterally i would not be giving it parenterally to my dog right now because as, as i've said she does not like it and i'm just gonna be showing you how to prepare it so i'm gonna be using this syringe it's a 3cc syringe i've used this uh, last night 
on her same dog I won't be using a sterile one because it, again this is oral but if you are going to be giving this um, through injection you need to use a fresh syringe and fresh needle okay guys just to be sure so okay there and then I'm just gonna be getting the ampule and then slowly I would peel the syringe with the medication okay I'm just I'm just making sure that I'm getting everything making sure okay there's nothing left in there guys if you are gonna give be giving this to your dog through injection you need to make sure that there are no bubbles so you tap it like that there you, sh you can wait a few minutes or a few seconds because the bubbles will dry up to the top see there are no bubbles in the main body and then I will push it up there that is if you are giving it through injection there Get rid of all the bubbles. But if you are going to be giving it uh, to your dog by uh, um, oral, then this is okay. Oh, wait. By the way, guys, a very small amount of air, just su super duper 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 small, like that small bubble in there, is okay if you are going to be giving this um, through subcutaneous, okay? Just under the skin. But if you are going to be giving this through IV, or I am, then the bubbles are not acceptable. But anyway, again, this is for home use. So, it's also normal that the medication is like slightly above 1 ml. That's okay. I'm going I'm gonna to be giving this to my dog. And I'm sorry I cannot film that because, well, actually I've already given her her medication. And this one is scheduled for a bit later, like uh, an hour from now. And... Yeah, she might be fighting me for that. So that's it, guys. I hope you find this helpful. I really cannot film um, giving this to my dog because, well, I live with my dog. There's only two of us, so no one would be holding the camera, you know. So yeah, that's it. I hope you find this helpful. If you have um, some questions, just put them down below. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope that um, wh whatever... It is that your dog is suffering from it it's just temporary i hope it would be that your dog would be okay soon thank you guys for watching and bye